So I'd launched off the Key River Marina and the plan was to travel about 15 kilometers down the Key River into Georgia Bay. This kind of exposes you into the many inlets and the mouth of the French River. I've been dreaming of kind of exploring this area for several months. One thing about Georgia Bay is the weather is unpredictable. A lot of the area, you can stay sheltered and isolated from the main kind of open stretches, but there are still times where you kind of have to cross. Luckily, I didn't really have any severe winds and everything was okay. I did some fishing along the way. I caught lots of small pike and bass, but nothing substantial. I ended up setting up camp at a nice point. A major curveball thrown during this trip was the aspect that this area had been completely burnt down roughly four years ago. This was one of the largest fires in Ontario. It was kind of depressing, but also unique. So the next day, I ate breakfast, I took off. I had covered about 20, 30 kilometers the day before. Today I was going to do about a 10, 15 kilometer loop, primarily fishing some of the most quiet inlet bays around this area I could find. Um, it involved a fair amount of portaging. Throughout the day, I hadn't seen anybody. clearly see here, I uh, really should have closed my bag. So I went kind of like these inlets, the inlets that during the spring, these are kind of like flowing, but in the summer, these become like ponds and dead water. Um, they probably rarely get fished. I was kind of had multiple setups of rods, uh, some for pike, some for bass, using tube jigs, the Senkos to jerk baits, the spoons, I was trying everything. The fishing was okay, but most of the fish I got was small. One decent pike. It was certainly low water involved me kind of dragging my canoe in a lot of places. It was hard work, sunny day. 
I needed to get some protein in me. I decided to keep a small bass and pike. Had a good shore lunch. The day was hard work. I was dragging my canoe everywhere, portaging in 30, 35 degree heat. The sun was just beating down all day, but this was a rarely traveled route. I hadn't seen anybody. I knew that there could be potentially really good fishing. So I ended up finding this channel that had almost like a tidewater effect where water would flow in and out. It was crazy. The current would kind of switch back and forth. Like, I guess it's the Great Lakes. It's almost like a small sea. And this was where the, a bunch of smallmouth was hanging out. You could see a big smallmouth there following the small one I just caught. I caught about probably seven or eight decent sized smallies here. Um, one decent one right here. It actually took my tube jig. I missed it. But then I threw it right back. And just watch this. It was so aggressive, it came right back. <laughs> These fish were hungry, man. No smallmouth bass can resist a good tube jig. Well, one of my favorite methods for catching smallies. Damn. It was roughly like three, four pounds. Not, not massive, but good, a good fish. So I came back to the site, realized the original spot I set up my tent was really windy. I had to kind of like readjust my setup to the back end of the point. Ended up making a good deal. These hash browns from Costco are really good as well. Uh, avocado, fresh fish, good hash. Next morning, dead calm. Perfect. I had a lot of distance covered. I'd probably guess around 25 kilometers. So, seeing if I was class was quite a relief. Knowing that Georgian Bay was probably okay. Did a bit of fishing on the way as usual. Nothing serious. Once again, just some small bass. So the trip lasted two nights. It was just a long weekend that I made the most out of in the middle of the summer. Uh, I'm a full-time working engineer, so time is hard to get off. But if I had more time, I would probably take this route all the way to like Clarny. I had an excellent tailwind to kind of push me along. It was quite a pleasant experience. It kind of pushed me the whole way back. And that was it. Until next time.